The Colorado River is out of balance. Um, we are using more water than the river can provide. And that's been the case for at least 20 years. We've seen a, the supply in the river declining. If you look at the reservoirs, the big ones like Lake Powell and Lake Mead, their reservoir levels have been dropping, exposing this large bathtub ring over the last 20 years. We are using so much water and those reservoirs are at such historic lows that it's now time to take a much more dramatic action to remedy the situation and get it back into balance. This is a very good topographical map of Lake Powell. Of course, it's a lot lower now. Um, we're at 26% capacity, which is really low. You can see the bathtub ring. That's where the water used to be, so that's about 150 foot down. Our spillways are exposed. You can see how far down they are. I worked on the lake as a boat mechanic, boat pilot, and then uh, I started as a utility man here, which was a janitor, and became an operation apprentice. Um, then I was an operator for a few years, and then I went into a senior operator. The love of the lake kept us here. I mean, this was done in the 60s. It, it just amazes me. We've decreased generation. We're only down to running around four units right now. Um, we used to be at 165 megawatts per unit, now we're down to about 90, so roughly about 50% of where we used to be. Well, we've seen, I've seen it at the minimum power pool. Uh, this year we went three feet below that. Um, but since May, uh, when we were at 3424, uh, we've come up 14 feet. So we're, we're had a decent water year. Could it be better? Yeah comes through here and it turns that turbine that you've seen laying up on the dam and then it falls straight down into here. The much bigger impact is of course as there's less flow, less water coming down the Colorado, of course there's less energy being generated. Energy is a fundamental building block for everything we do. If you start down the, the avenue of, of making it scarce or expensive, we, we just simply can't compete in a global market, but, um, you know, as that, as that resource is dwindled, you know, so is our access to that. So you see the orange gates down there? There's 24 of them that go around and open and shut them openings on the runner. The water's going around that runner, making it spin, and it goes up and it connects to the rotor upstairs and starts producing the power. The, the water level has drifted down to a point that wasn't really foreseen initially by the designers of the Colorado River Basin. We've had concerns um, about access to the water. The, the portion of our tourism related to houseboating, boating in general, has, has declined. But on this side, it looks pretty dramatic in this bay area because, you know, the, the terrain just slopes up. So like 10 feet of level makes it look makes like it a good. lot. Yeah, it looks, visually it looks like it's really empty almost, you know. I mean, we were about to where the speech was at a couple of years ago. And that was, that was my favorite beach to go to. I grew up here in Page, Arizona and also on the reservation about 20 miles south of here. Been around Page my whole life, uh, Lake Powell, swimming, you know, fishing here my whole life. Yeah, water levels has come, have, has come down quite a bit. Again, this year was the lowest it's ever been. But so, you know, of course, you know, there's, there's water here, you know, you definitely can be out. This was all dry at one point, you know, and that was pretty beautiful at some point too, you know but we have water in it, so that's still a good thing, so. For those of us that are here, obviously you see we have a front row seat. Many of us live here because of Lake Powell, and so we're highly in tune with what's going on with that lake. I mean, it's a beautiful, magical place. I mean, water in those Red Rock Canyons is, is incredible, but 
Yeah, compared to, it's just the ghost of what it used to be. The 40 million people that, that, that need the water from the Colorado River, everybody's gonna have to push some across the table till we get through this drought.